it's not risk transference, but risk sharing. But in risk sharing, you can't eliminate risk, so you mitigate risk. My colleagues will talk about risks associated with products, process, divisions, certain compliance, and the entity. And these are important. I wanted to basically go a little bit higher, sort of a jet engine view of risk at 35,000 feet, and then bring it down to ground level. And look at risks from the point of view of reputation. Because reputation risk actually rises to a systemic risk in the industry. If you don't address this, then you're not going to have this sustained growth in Islamic finance. And these Muslim countries who do not have Islamic finance will basically not have Islamic finance. So at the first level, there's the political risk. What I mean by that is the depoliticalization of Islamic finance and the anti-Sharia movement. When Egypt was led by someone from the Muslim Brotherhood, they said Islamic finance has arrived. He exited as the leader of Egypt. Does that mean Islamic finance has also exited? So there has to be a delinking from the political process of Islamic finance. In the West, there are many bad perceptions concerning Islamic finance, and frankly speaking, the industry has failed to talk about what Islamic finance is. It's a business with rules of engagement. It has less to do with religion, more to do with profit sharing and not profiteering. So at one level, there's this political risk. The second is financial inclusion. This is probably the biggest Achilles heel for Islamic finance. Of the 1.8 billion Muslims in this world, maybe 2 to 3 percent have exposure or have had become a participant for Islamic finance. The flip side is, the upside is huge, but what is the industry doing? Uh, we had a speaker from Kazana, the chairman, our chairman, speak about microfinance, speak about SAE finance. We're, talk we're talking about the non-bankable, the underweight, which is basically most in most of the Muslim countries. What is Islamic finance doing for the financial inclusion? Business model. It's a risk. We know that they're going after the margin of margin of their customers. We've seen our Canada, an Islamic investment bank, come out of bankruptcy in the U.S. We've seen the finance house change the business model. We've seen the investment bar incur some challenges. We've seen the Islamic Bank of Britain and FSA go through two restructures. This presents certain risks with respect to the business of Islamic finance. This is a business risk, nothing to do with the Islamic teachings. And there has to be a bifurcation of that. I don't want to get to the awards, but the key issue there is transparency. CSR of Islamic finance, Zakat and Sadaka is basically not CSR. CSR is Islamic banks, because they are involved in financing a lot of real estate projects, infrastructure projects, not one Islamic bank, to my knowledge, is signatory to the carbon principles, the climate principles, or the equator principles. Right? I don't know how many Islamic banks have linked up with NGOs. So if you're going to talk about Islamic finance at the highest level, which is the political, but there's no linkages with NGOs or no signatory to the climate principles, what is it that you are talking about? With respect to uh, risk averseness, Islamic finance is collateral based finance, right? Uh, we are Marabaha centric. That actually has not touched the man on the street. When are we going to expand towards the man on the street and their particular needs? In a lot of countries, we talk about support. No one has talked about an agricultural support. So, from my point of view, Islamic crowdfunding and agriculture support customizes to the local needs of the people. The final thing is linking and demystifying. We started the process of dealing with the conventional with benchmark indexes, and that's great because it goes to authenticity, indigenous development, and addresses the question of what's the difference to the man on the street. But we need to continue moving forward from negative screen to positive screen on the Islamic equity side. We need to address finally, first and foremost, that Islamic finance is not for Muslims, so it's a rebranding issue. And if I were to sort of link 
this together, from a political point of view, uh, you have to send a message to the, where these arrows are ending up. From a business point of view, or financial inclusion, these are the areas that need to be cross-linked. And finally, from a business model point of view, you, you see what arrows are linked to. So the net net of this is at 35,000 feet level, there is a systemic risk because there's a reputation risk. We need to address this before we also talk about the issues concerning products, the issues concerning investment account holders, depositors, but capital charges. So I just wanted to lay the foundation for the basis of the remainder of the conversation. Thank you, so much. Thank you, Rishi. That was actually a good coverage of the risk occurring in uh, Islamic finance. Um, if I could go into something a little bit more specific for the purpose of this discussion today, uh, and like I said, something a little bit more, uh, something more current and issues which the Islamic banking industry are facing at the moment. Now, I, I have a question here which uh, later anyone of the panelists could, could respond to it. Um, in Malaysia, currently, Mudaraba has been used as a concept of uh, Islamic current and savings account products since the beginning of Islamic banking. Recently, however, there has been moved, there has been a move to apply a pure Mudaraba concept on these deposit accounts. Therefore, rendering this to be no longer a deposit fund but an investment-based fund instead. Now, when the bank is prepared to take in Mudaraba deposits, in reality, are the bank prepared to not allow the customers to get the returns that they are normally used to? Or even in such circumstances, allow the customers to absorb the losses in the event the bank is not making any returns? This is a question which the banks actually do face in reality. Wouldn't there be a fear that the customers would leave the bank? So can this actually work in a dual banking system? Are the banks prepared to reduce the customer's return in these kind of circumstances? Would, not, would this not lead to a displaced commercial risk? Any one of the panelists could help us uh, clarify that thing.
from my perspective, I would consider this move as, uh, in a way, something which is logical because it is um, describing the investment in Dharma investment account in the true sense. Prior to the uh, reclassification, we have the Dubai investment account classified as deposit, which is understood as guarantee. When in reality, the contract on the Dubai itself does not guarantee um, that the principal will be intact. So by the reclassification, we are making the risk involved in the Dubai investment account transparent to the consumers. So with that, uh, I think um, what is necessary for the next step is to educate uh, the customers of this bank as to the characteristics of these two types of um, um, instrument of investment and the other one is deposit. So by looking at the characteristics and the risk profile, risk with the profile of each instrument, we will leave it to the consumer to actually decide whether they want to go more for the guaranteed capital deposit based uh, instrument or they want to go to perhaps uh, a higher risk but perhaps better return of a Mudaraba investment account in a very transparent uh, mechanism because we have segregation of accounts. So it entails a lot of other things, not just the risk presentation, but it also entails the segregation of the Mudaraba investment account from the normal deposits. Uh, and to some extent, the Mudaraba investment account can be said to be treated as perhaps quite similar to or have some similar characteristics with the shareholders in town. That sense. So I hope I have addressed some of the issues of your not all. <coughs> Number two, whenever people talk about displaced commercial risk, people talk about 